you aren't aware, Deathball went ahead and dropped a brand new update with a new boss in the game, as well as two brand new packs, being the Cyber Pack and the Mech Pack. In order to open the Mech Pack, you need to spend years, which is a new currency that you get from defeating the boss. On top of all of that, there also is a brand new champion, which is this guy over here. Unfortunately, the only way to get him is by opening up the packs over here. What I'm the most interested in is this sword. Bro, look at how hard that is. It's so sick. Hopefully, we're also able to get our hands on this. But the main focus right now is to go ahead and defeat this boss. That's pretty much the end goal right now. Oh, look, a legendary. The Electro Crusher. Can I get it? No, I cannot. Joke's on me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into attempt number two. Tell me that is not a crazy sick intro. <laughs> So for phase one of the fight, it's pretty simple, honestly, and it starts off kind of uh, really forgiving. It basically shoots one side at a time, so it doesn't really get that overwhelming. You can really just move to one side of the arena and get it done. Then you see after a little bit of time, it'll do the other arm, and you're pretty much good until you hit him for the first time. As soon as you do the first damage to him, then he starts shooting both of the guns. So right there, you'll notice that uh, he is now using both guns, doing sort of a pattern but still not really all that overwhelming unless obviously you have really high ping in which case uh, it might do some damage to you so make sure that you kind of uh take into consideration the fact that they're coming at pretty fast speeds but there we go we did ourselves the second bit of damage or the first i'm not 100 percent sure now this phase starts i hate this phase because i can't tell the difference between the red missiles and the ball but thankfully, we didn't take any damage there. To get past that, it's very simple. Just time it correctly and dash through it. Let's sort of focus up here because now it's getting overwhelming. We're doing way better this time, dude. Look at the health. We might actually be able to get him to 50% now. And I spoke too soon. <laughs> nah. No, nah, this is crazy. Bro, I'm taking hits everywhere now. What is this? It's coming from the side now? What? Yeah, this fight is insane, dude. I thought the last one was insane, but no, this is insane. All right, boom. We got up to 50%. Perfect. There it is right there. 50% damage. What in the world? What is this now? Okay, that's tolerable. So basically, we have to look at the sides to make sure that we're... Huh? Wait. What? Bro, what is even happening right now, bro? I'm the last one alive. Focus up, focus up, Carbon. Okay, we failed. We failed miserably. All right, so that fight is actually crazy. I'm gonna do some less talking and we'll be back whenever we make it to an actual part in the fight where we haven't been already. I can already tell this is gonna take me a bunch of attempts. All right, we have them under 50% this time. Bro, how? Nah, that last part is crazy. It just spams. Look at that. Are you joking? How is anyone supposed to survive that? What? That's actually insane. Okay, wait, we got a godly in here. Can I? Okay, I didn't get it. All right. Never mind. False alarm. Guys, I think I'm onto something. I'm working smarter, not harder. Tree jump has a pretty good cooldown to be able to pretty much bypass everything. Let's see if it bypasses this, though. We're in a tree jump. Yep. We took no damage whatsoever. Now, it doesn't last long enough to do it for all three of them, but if I was to move all the way to the front, technically, I could maybe get away with it. Let's see. Boom, tree jump. Oh, no, but we got knocked off by the ball. All right, we're good. We survived that. I did take one damage because I'm dumb and I didn't hit the ball.
bro. Strategy right here. No, he disabled all my abilities. What? This is insanity. How is someone supposed to beat this? Honestly, man, Foxuro definitely makes that fight so much easier. You just really got to focus up and uh, not record a video and talk random stuff. So I'm going to go back to that. Come on. Nah, the new champion is crazy. This guy's just floating the ball. All right, it's all up to this guy right here. This dude is goaded. Oh. All right, so these two guys in my game right now are pretty much single-handedly carrying. We got Gospel as well as X and Tempest. Let's see how this goes, man. They're in pretty much the last phase right now. Oh boy. Tempest seems to not really be breaking a sweat, and it looks like he's the last person alive right now. Ah, that's interesting. So he knows something that we don't. Apparently, if you lean all the way to the back, it doesn't actually get you the lines. All right, so I think we're all feeling pretty confident that after about, uh, I don't know, a solid 60 attempts, this might be the one. As I say that, somebody dies. All right, good progress. But yeah, we've pretty much been doing this the entire time with the same exact team. We only switched teams one time, I believe. And I didn't even realize, but I just took damage. Ay, yay, yay. I feel like we get him down to about 25% health pretty easily now. This is when it starts to get a little bit tricky. But definitely the worst one is the last phase. Here it goes. Last phase has begun. No more abilities for us. I don't understand. Why can't I jump over it? Everybody else tells me that they're able to jump over the huge beams, but I just can't do it. It just keeps pushing me back and doing damage to me. See, they just kind of jump right through it. Look at that. Oh, are we going to get it? Bro, what? No, bro. No, we were so close. All right, this is definitely the one right here. We've all spoken and we feel confident that if I don't make it, Tempest definitely will. So we should be good after one hour and 12 minutes of recording. All right, we're officially at the 50% point. I've taken two damage because of really, really dumb mistakes that I've made, but we're going pretty good. So we are now officially two hits away from the boss being defeated and uh, one hit away from me getting to the point where I die every single time. All right, the boss is officially at one health. There goes all of our abilities. I have two health bars left. I'll make that one, sorry. And I'm dead. Okay, every single time. That is the part that I always die. I bet you the last person is Tempest. Yep, this guy is a beast. He's taking a little bit of damage here. I don't know if he's gonna be able to pull this one off, dude. Okay, he pulled tree. And he's right by the gap. Perfect. Yo, he's gonna get he's gonna get past his phase. He's actually gonna get past the phase. 
No way. No way he did it. Let's go. W Tempest. Yo, W. <laughs> That's sick, bro. So moral is the exact pattern plays over and over and over again. If you can manage to learn that pattern, fight is fairly easy. I'm just struggling with that last part. So I'm going to get back to uh, doing some runs with this guy so I can learn this a lot better. Once I get the brand new champion, I will bring you guys a video showcasing that. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Death Ball, Pet Sim, and any other game that I decide to cover here on the channel. That's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Like always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.